to cook dinner tonight and for our dinner we got flatfish and one herring so I think that is lemon sole and place okay guys what I'm going to do with this uh, fish I'm just going to make a slit two slit in each side and I'm going to uh, add salt okay so that's how I prepare my fish leave it until I'm ready to fry while waiting I'm going to give Mister his his drink that's his favorite drink I'll give this to him Mm. Mr. Smith. Thank you. Okay. While you're waiting for dinner, okay. The pan now is very hot now, so just adding my oil. I use sunfr uh, sunflower oil. I use sunfr uh, sunflower oil. <laughs> This is the black bean that I bought earlier. I learned this cooking from my mother. So rice is doing well. And that's the pak choy from my um, hanging bottle. Hey guys, fish is doing well. And now I got um, pointed sweet pepper there and onion but uh, crispy garlic chips so this is from the Philippines my best friend Talia gave it to me when we flew back here in the UK so this is chips crispy garlic chips and you can either eat it if you want to or you sprinkle that on top of your food, especially bok choy, or use that in your cooking. It's easy. So guys, if you're a friend of Talia, she will give you crispy garlic chips from the Philippines. No, it's still sticking. So my mother told me if the fish is still sticking, it's not ready to be turned to the other side. So I'm going to leave it just for a few minutes and we'll see what happens. Mister is watching snakes in the city. Oh my gosh. So my fish is oh. oh, actually, it's still okay. But this one is a bit burned. But it's okay. It's still eatable. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is another disaster in my kitchen. Okay guys, I'm going to prepare my veggies now. So this is the pak choy. So I'm just going to cut that like that, every leaves. and uh, see how it tastes like. 
so I got the savings. So when you buy this in the um, food shopping, food shopping um, supermarket, supermarket. <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. This will cost you like a pound or one pound twenty-five or one fifty. So today I save between one and one fifty pounds. And pesos. Uh, that is my onion, sliced tomato. So I can add that. And that sucks up the flavor of the fish. And then I'm going to put pepper. I'm going to put my fish back. There. And I'm going to add water. I need to add egg later on. So I'm just going to prepare it. So just beat the egg. Okay guys, so it's boiling. So now I'm ready to add my beans. So I'm not going to use it all. We call this in our dialect Taoshu. Taoshu. So means black beans. And this is the recipe from my nanai. There. Isn't that lovely? I can add my egg. So I'm going to sprinkle that around or drop that egg around. And if you can see guys, egg is starting to solidify then I can put my pak choy leaves because my fish is already cooked so it doesn't need uh, long to be ready for eating This pak choy leaves doesn't need uh, longer to cook. I want to have a taste. So when I taste, I pick the area that is boiling. I'm strange, guys, because every time I taste food, I smell it first. <laughs> That's how I do it. Smell it first before tasting it. seasoning so I got another seasoning here it's nor but it's called aromat I'm not advertising this guys but this is what I use in my cooking and I'm going to add more pepper to add my pointed sweet pepper and I'm going to have another try I'm happy with that 
time for dinner. Okay, guys. I want to serve dinner, but Mr. and Trisha, they're having a conversation in the front room. So let's investigate what they're talking about. You say, is it about Han? A friend, Jay. Friend, Jay. Friend, Jay. Yeah. He moved to Bedford. But she knew that long time. I know, but today he left, so she's a mother. Mm. Teenager, guys. Teenager problem. So guys, I'm going to serve dinner now. So, Trisha Stray, Mr. Stray, and my tray. So, we like to eat sitting, not at the table, but sitting in the sofa. So, what I'm going to do, or what I have done, is I put the food in the middle. Is there? That's your tray. And there's the food. And there's our rice. So everyone can help themselves. Mister is ready to try his food. Mm. Delicious. What's delicious? Namit. Namit in Ilongo, in Tagalog. <laughs> Ma Sa Rap Ma Sa Rap You know that, huh? Oh my gosh It's very confusing, guys Because my mister needs to learn Ilongo And then in order to be understood By people in the Philippines He needs to learn Tagalog as well which is Filipino, which is the national language. So I can understand why Mister is taking so long to speak the language. Okay, guys, I'm going to have my dinner now. And I'm sitting beside Mister. And I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Bye! Okay. <clears throat> okay. The reason, the reason why I'm asking the questions is because uh, Delicious. Previously you would have probably stayed in Mister is working. Um, Carly House. Somebody I mean, phoned is working yeah. at home. Um, because of the, uh, I've only got seven, bed, seven beds in Carly House but I do have two fold-up beds. So what I could do is we, we can do Cody House as a self-contained let. Oh, excuse me. Otherwise, we're looking at one of the lodges. Mess that up. Delicious. Again, the lodges would be a self-contained let, um, but you know, there's more space there. So, so, so Ram Ramsey Lodge sleeps. Success. Um, My cooking. Good. Sixteen people. There are three bedrooms. Um. How's my cooking, honey? Hmm? How's my cooking? Okay. Good. Good? I like my cooking. Do you like it too? <laughs> Do you like my cooking? <laughs> I like the taste of my bok choy plant. It's like there's a hint of uh, mustard, this mustard taste.
I, I had seconds, guys. I had my second plate right now. I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. 7,000 miles from home. Thank you. Bye.